Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month in March, I posted a video that Google had opened their waiting list for BARD. And if you don't know what BARD is, quick recap, um, BARD is Google's chat GPT competitor to Microsoft's new Bing chat. And I'll leave a link to that uh, video in the description. Now, just a quick news and information update. If you are following the Google BARD development, and if you would be interested in regards to this, um, recently Google's CEO had an interview with 60 Minutes and has indeed confirmed, as I have posted previously, that Google is developing a new AI-powered search engine uh, to take on the likes of Microsoft and Microsoft's new ChatGPT um, technology and integration into some of its products and services. And as many of you would know by now, Microsoft has already rolled out their new Bing Chat with uh, the Chatbot ChatGPT. They've integrated that into the sidebar and side panel of Microsoft Edge already, and to some extent has placed a shortcut uh, in the search box of Windows 10 and Windows 11, which is a shortcut basically to the new Bing Chat. So it seems now that Google uh, is getting on the so-called bandwagon when it comes to open AI technology. Now, as I have mentioned previously, it is expected that future versions of uh, Windows will be more AI-powered and AI-focused. And um, it is also expected that um, Microsoft will include um, open AI technology in more of its products and services in the future. And we can expect, um, obviously, because of that, that Google will follow suit and will also start um, introducing open AI into its different products and services in the future as well. And the start of this, as mentioned, has recently been confirmed by Google CEO in that interview. Now, um, according to uh, Google CEO, um, the uh, engine, which um, will be placed within uh, the Google search, is going to be called Maggie. And it's uh, called Maggie internally, though, at this stage by Google. Uh, um, and not Bard. They're calling it Maggie. So at this stage, um, it's not known if it will roll out as a final and end product being called Maggie or being called Google Bard. But nonetheless, um, as I've mentioned previously, um, um, at this stage, uh, it's not known exactly when Maggie and or Bard will be released. But as mentioned previously, um, Google will announce it officially next month in May of this year, 2023, and are planning to make uh, Maggie and or Bard available to approximately 30 million users in the United States before the end of this year. So that's before December. We obviously, um, th those users will uh, kind of be the first users to a so-called A-B test, uh, Maggie or Bard, whatever it's going to be called, before um, Google does push it out to more regions worldwide. Now, you may ask the question, as I have, why is Google taking so long to roll out um, its chatbot uh, in its different products and services like Google Search. And according to Google, um, it's because they are basically taking responsibility to make um, artificial intelligence helpful and not harmful. So that's the reason why Google hasn't just pushed this, out, this, this uh, feature out randomly uh, to its different products and services. Now, according to reports, um, Google Assistant, um, obviously the assistant you get on your Android device as an example, uh, will still be called Google Assistant in the future, but it could be powered by Bard. And um, the so-called new assistant or Bard, Maggie, whatever it will be called at the end of the day, um, could be integrated into the Google Chrome web browser's side panel as a feature, obviously to take on the likes of Microsoft integrating the same technology, uh, ChatGPT, into its sidebar and side panel in the Edge web browser. So I thought that was interesting and could be something to look out for in the future, being included in the site panel. Now, I think a statement recently by um, a recent article posted by Chrome Unboxed, Chrome Unboxed will sum this whole video up for the purpose of today. Um, they have said that um, they seriously doubt Google will get rid um, of the so-called household and worldwide name. It's carved into history over the past 25 years with Google Search and will instead attempt to redefine it for a new era. Whatever that means in the future at this stage is anybody's guess. But nonetheless, I thought that that statement summed it all up, that they will instead attempt to redefine Google Search and not replace Google Search, but will redefine it for a new era. And as mentioned, if any more info um, becomes available, I will obviously post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.